Hello everyone, welcome to Satellite GK quiz number 291. This video is aimed to help you with your state and central government exams like SSC, UPSC, state PSCs and banking and insurance related examinations like RRB, IBPS, etc. I'm Ritrisha from GK today and I'll be taking you through this. Under which of the following amendments, the power of judicial review of the Supreme Court and High Courts was restored, which was curtailed by Constitution 42nd Amendment Act 1976? Correct answer is 43rd Amendment Act of 1977. The Supreme Court has been listed with power of judicial review as has been the High Court. The jurisdiction of the Supreme Court was curtailed by the 42nd Amendment of the Constitution in 1976 in several ways. But some of these changes have been since repealed by the 43rd Amendment Act of 1977. Which among the following date was passed by a resolution uh, by Indian National Congress to observe every year as Purna Swaraj? So, which date is Purna Swaraj Day? Correct answer is January 26. Now, why is that? Because in the Lahore session of 1929, Indian National Congress passed a resolution under the presidentship of Jawaharlal Nehru to observe 26 January every year as Purna Swaraj Day. Supreme Court shall be a court of record and shall have all powers of such courts including the power to punish for contempt of itself. Which article says this? It's article 129. So it basically empowers the Supreme Court to, to take actions against contempt of court. Now what contempt of court means? It means disrespecting the court's orders or wishes. So there have been some um, unprecedented action taken under this article uh, in which a sitting minister of the state of Maharashtra was jailed for a month on charge of contempt of court in 2006 and this was the first time that a serving minister was ever jailed. Before 26 November 1949, which among the following was the governing law of India? Correct answer is Government of India Act 1935. Now, this was not a very popular act. Uh, Jawaharlal Nehru at that time had called it a machine with strong brakes but no engines. He had also called it a charter of slavery. Jinnah had called it thoroughly rotten, fundamentally bad and totally unacceptable. Which among the following amendments provided for the deletion of Article 314, inclusion of a new Article 312A, which confers powers on Parliament to vary or revoke by law the conditions of civil services? Correct answer is 28th Amendment Act 1972. Now, the objective was to rationalize civil service rules to make it uniform across those appointed prior to independence and post-independence. Which among the following comes under the integrated nutrient management? Correct answer is soil fertility. Now, integrated nutrient management refers to maintenance of soil fertility and of plant nutrient supply at an optimum level for sustaining the desired productivity through optimization of the benefits from all possible sources of organic, inorganic and biological components in an integrated manner. Which among the following missions of Government of India follow, perform, achieve and trade mechanism? Correct answer is National Mission on Enhanced Energy Efficiency. So this is aimed to promote the market for energy efficiency by fostering innovative policies and effective market instruments. The Ministry of Power of Government of India through Bureau of Energy Efficiency looks over the progress of this mission. In which year Prime Minister's new 15-point program for the welfare of minorities was launched? Correct answer is 2006. So this program was launched by Indian government in 2006 for welfare of religious minorities in furtherance of reports by committees such as Sachar Committee Report that highlighted that minorities, especially Muslims in the country, were often in a worse socio-economic and political condition than communities such as the scheduled castes and scheduled tribes communities that have been oppressed over millennia through the caste system. Center for Wind Energy Technology is located where? It's located in Chennai. So this comes under NIWE, which is an autonomous R&D institution under the Ministry of New and Renewable Energy, Government of India, established to serve as technical focal point for orderly development of wind power deployment. The Constitution 73rd Amendment had initiated the process of political empowerment of the panchayats in the country. Since then, panchayat elections have been regularly held in all states and union territories in India, where Part 9 of the Constitution is applicable. Which among the following states have been an exception to this? The correct answer here is Jharkhand. That's all for today's quiz. Until the next video, goodbye.